Maybe. I just... Oh, my God! Are you all right? I just got hit by a deer. You hit a deer? No, I, I got hit by a deer. How, how do you get hit by a deer? I was at a stop sign, and he hit me. Oh, my God! I don't see him. Well, put salt down. Deers love salt. Where am I going to get salt? Do you have a lunch? Lane. They said that they rolled her body into a lamp. Did you laugh? Did you want to? My god, we're playing for a label. Wow, Lane, I'm absolutely there. This is big. Very big. Unless it's a waiting for Guffman thing and the label guys don't show up. Did I just jinx it? I don't know. Let's do that unjinxing thing we used to do, just in case. Good. Jinx, jinx back, back, double, double pinky, pinky round the side, side double, double pinky, pinky jinx, jinx back. back. I have been telling you this story for an hour. It doesn't get dirty. I can't help it. I'm obsessed. I'm totally living vicariously through you. Why? You got kissed last weekend. You get kissed on the mouth by a cute, cool, sexy guy you really like. And I get kissed on the forehead by a theology major in a members-only jacket who truly believes that rock music leads to hard drugs. Fair enough. You can live through me. What kind of pain is it? Ever light your head on fire? I haven't, but I don't have to now because I know how it feels. I'll rinse it out. No, we'd have to start all over again. And now that I know how much pain there is, I'll check it out for sure. I'm getting dizzy from the smell. Let's focus on my pain now. Read the bottle. Tell me what to do in case of pain. Do not apply to a broken scalp. Is your scalp broken? I don't know, maybe. I don't know my scalp that well. There's nothing else about pain. Oh, a girl told me once that if your scalp is hurting from bleach, drink a 7-Up. It's something to do with the bubbles. The Kim household does not have soft drink. Oh my god, we have to open this window. Okay. I have got to do something. Run around the block. Why? I don't know. Good enough for me. Weren't you supposed to be broken up by now? Yeah, but Young Chu thinks it isn't time yet. Why? This is a fake relationship. You're never really going out. I don't know. I bring it up every night, and he just changes the subject. You talk every night? Pretty much. He's a little needy right now. That's a lot of talking. What are you getting at? He's asking you to tell him jokes and to let him know how your math test went. So? So, it sounds like he's in love with you. No. No. Young Chu is not in love with me, and it's not fair for you to take an innocent friendship like Young Chu and I have with its air of innocence and its innocence. And oh my God, he loves me. That stupid boy's falling in love with me. Ray? Yes, Lane? I have a favor to ask you. Mm-hmm. Well, you know Dean, my boyfriend? Yes, yes I do. Okay, well, remember I was telling you about his friend, Todd? Todd, yes. Have you met him? No. Well, he's cool. Good. Really cool. Good again. Really, really cool. Good still holds. So anyhow, I was wondering if you could talk to Dean about maybe talking to Todd about me. I guess. And then maybe you could ask Dean to ask him out. For me. Good. Because I don't think Dean would want to go out with Todd. Might screw up their friendship. Uh, okay, well, what about this? Um, where is the chair you sit in? Where is your favorite comb? Your toothbrush, your nail file? Trot them out that I may devour them at one gulp. You want to eat his toothbrush? No, I'm trying to convey that I miss him very much. It sounds like you just missed his toilet trick. Well, it's supposed to be metaphorical and evocative. I'm not going to write... Our hands grow frantically for the burning flesh. Oh, that's better. That's way hotter than the eating his comb thing. Really? Why not go for it? Why are you making such a big deal out of this? I'm just worried, you know? I mean, we talk to each other on the phone every day, but I just don't think that that's enough to keep this relationship going. <sighs> Desperate measures. Burn that flesh, sister. Henry will call. No, he's not. Well, then why did he talk to you all night well, and follow you around everywhere you went and ask you to dance six times? Was it six times? It was six times. And he did not ask you to dance six times because you're a good dancer. Because to tell you the truth, and as much as I love you, you're not. Really? You are an embarrassment to the art of dancing. Thank you. <laughs> Guess where I'm standing? I don't know, but you sound a little echoey. I'm standing in the living room of my very own apartment. You're kidding. I'm waiting for the gas man. The gas man, isn't that great? I've got gas. Ignore the words, just focus on the enthusiasm. How are you affording this? I'm sharing it with Zach and Brian. That is so cool. When do you move your stuff in? Tomorrow, that is if my mom hasn't sold it all by now. Oh my god, my first mail is here. It's a Chinese menu. Frame it or something. I will. I've got to go. I'll call you later. How many people do you think have gotten married here over the years? I counted once off the guest book. 46. Wow. Whatever happened to that one? Min Cha? She married a real mean guy. Wan Nam. Min Cha put up with seven years of Wan Nam telling her she was stupid and ordering her to cook all his meals. Then one day, he was in the kitchen looking for his lunch, and she just snapped. Took a carrot peeler and turned on him. A carrot peeler? The neighbors called the police, they showed up, and Wan Nam was just standing there, all peeled. What happened? He didn't press charges, but now he makes all his own meals, sleeps in a locked separate room, and keeps the cutting board by his bed for protection. 
still married, though. You know, this may be the last wedding for a long time, though. How come? Well, all my cousins in their 20s and 30s are married. James was the last one. It feels like we've had at least two of these every year since I can remember. Elementary school, when we met. Elementary school, when we met. And who knows, maybe the next Kim wedding we do makeup for will be yours. Too scary, don't freak me out. Sorry. I like this song. It makes me gloomy. Gloom is good. Really gloomy. Like Joy Division gloomy? Nick Cave gloomy? Robert Smith gloomy? Johnny Cash gloomy. So, kind of like a San Quintiny. It's a long road home and my horse just got shot. But I still got my girl by my side. Gloomy? You read my mind? Listen, here's the thing. Um, my kids are gonna need that too. You know, when they're hiding Bibles and they can't stand me. So what I wanted to know is, would you be there, Lorelai Gilmore? I guess that's the proper term. Really? I can't think of anyone who'd be better. Plus, you already have the name. I'd love to, yeah. <laughs> I started listening to rock music when I was seven years old. I stuck makeup on at school. I managed to join a band without anyone knowing. I had a boyfriend who my mother thought was a Christian guitarist. And I ate spicy condiments like they were going out of style. Lame. I drank soda, ate hamburgers, I wore jewelry, I danced. Not very well. Hey, any skill levels, a sin. I mean, nothing else stuck. Nothing. So why this? It's a mystery. Oh, you should have seen Zach's face. It was like... Like he realized he wasn't going to have sex with you until the wedding night. Yes. Exactly. Oh my god, what if I never get married? You'll get married, you'll have sex. That's easy for you to say. You've already had sex with two different guys, all within a one-year period. Okay, you're making me sound a little slutty. Well, why shouldn't you be slutty? You have absolutely no mother-taught morals standing in the way of you and your sluttiness. Oh, well, when you've put it that way. Is it great? It's what great? Sex, is it great? Not in front of the books, Lane. I mean, when I'm home ten minutes late from Bible study, she has a cow. But I call her drunk, tell her I'm at a party, I'm a drummer in a band, and I'm in love with a non-Korean. I expected there to be backup. So I go upstairs to make sure everything's okay. I look in her room, and she's in bed, asleep. No. Then this morning, I get up, I go in the kitchen, and I say, good morning, Mama. And? She turns around, looks right at me, and says, good morning, Lane. Okay, well, let's think. Maybe she didn't hear you. I was drunk, I could have slurred. Exactly. Maybe she thought you said you were at a smarty, playing clock music, drinking fear, and in love with Rave Schmigchausty. And how would that be better? It's much less clear. Everything's so screwed up. My life, everything I'm doing. It's not that bad. It is that bad. I mean, look at this. Look at where you are. Look at what you have. I'm so jealous. You have a life. You have a life too. Yeah, it's just not a very good one. Lane, come on. You're healthy, you have a band and a boyfriend, and so what if school is boring? You won't be in school forever. You have a good life. I'm weak. I have no spine. If you had no spine, you'd be walking funnier. And then Chico's, you're cheerleader material. Cheerleader material, just like that. I couldn't believe it. I almost went full matrix on her. I'm going in. You can't. I'm going in. It's Thursday afternoon. I know. He works on Thursday afternoons. I know. We're talking you know who. I know. Oh my god! Calm down. You're getting back together with Dean. If you keep jumping like that, I'm gonna videotape it and send it to Janie Furtman as your cheerleader audition. Wish me luck. Luck. The very concept of childbirth is vaguely disturbing. Yeah, kids are cool and all, but getting there seems like a big cosmic joke. Definitely thought up by a man. My mom said that when she told me where babies come from. My mom still hasn't told me. Really? When my cousin got pregnant, she said it's because an angel brushed its wings against her face. I can fill you in on the details sometime if you want. No thanks, I picked it up off the streets. I got kissed. And, and, I, and I shoplifted. Are you serious? Who kissed you? Dean. The new kid? Yes. You got the new kid? Oh my god! It happened so fast. I was just standing there. Where? Dosi's market. He kissed you in the market? On aisle three. By the ant spray? Yes! Oh, that's a good aisle. <laughs> what defines a good aisle? An aisle where you get kissed by the new kid is a good aisle. Oh my god, he kissed me. Who kissed you? The Lord, Mama. How weird is this? Yesterday, we're sitting on your porch, playing jacks and praying to grow boobs. And now, look at us. I have a husband and two babies in there, and you're about to go off and conquer the world, or at least write about it. Mm. We've come a long way, baby. I mean, yeah. I just, your friendship means so much to me. It, it's so, me too. I mean, I don't know what it's like to have a sister, but I feel like I do, you know?